17, 1800 Spanish coins in the same area where I found this uh, ship's hatch cover, and uh, it definitely was a, a, an old cover, and uh, I was determined to dig it up, thinking maybe there might be some older coins laying around it or something. How long have you just spent digging that up? This is the floorboard off the Atosha. Watch me uh, cover it. These uh, horses that you're about to see walking down the beach are actually a part of a, a wild herd of ponies that uh, run the northern beaches of the Outer Banks. They've been on the beaches for years and, and nobody owns them. And uh, there are many who say that these horses were descendants of the uh, Spanish Mustangs that were brought over by the Spaniards uh, many years ago. And there's been a big movement underway to get these horses impounded and get them in a protected area because a lot of them will just run right out on the highways uh, and, and get in the way of vehicular traffic and, and, and a couple of them have actually been killed. And they're beautiful horses. I have to, have to wonder sometime when I see these horses walk by and take a look at me as we're out there digging with our detectors. They're not saying, uh, it's my treasure, stay away from it and, and, and get out of here. Worth exactly a dollar. <laughs> this is a 1792 Spanish pillar dollar worth about $200 in extra fine condition. Brett, bring it forward and let's see how good we can see it. It's not going. All right, Mike, let's see. <laughs> Mike's is not quite as old, not quite as nice. 1804, but I was the one who broke the ice and found the first one. Found that, plus what appears to be a very old spoon. W. Although it could be VW. Here, see the other one, Archie. That was good. About the same place. Yeah, that's nice. 1792. Charles the fourth. Am I right? Yeah, that's good.